Greetings, guys, and welcome to Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. In today's video, I'm going to go over all of the movie suits and how I like them and how they fare into the game of Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. And here we go. So the first suit is, of course, the homemade suit. Now, if we... If you know what movie this is from, slap a like on which is your favorite Spider-Man movie out of them all. Uh, include You can include the animated ones, but I'm talking about the suits that uh, appear in this game and not the other animated movie ones. Uh, so, or any animated series or any movie that animated thing that he appears in that is not his own animated series and or movie that have a suit directly in this game. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I, for one, I do like how they included Tom Holland's MCU Marvel Spider-Man suits into the game. Now, speaking of that, there are a lot of homemade suits over the years that Peter has worn. He didn't initially wear the Spider-Man suit that we all know and love as his first rendition of the suit. However, how I feel that Ben Jordan's Peter Parker, which is the voice act, which is the game video game actor for Peter Parker in the PS5 and Miles Morales games, uh, is it, it was another dude that played Peter Parker for the PS4 games. And I feel like people like that Peter Parker more aesthetically wise for Peter than they do Ben Jordan for Peter. But I honestly like the Ben Jordan Peter and I also like how his face really more or less fits Yuri Lurenthal's voice more than Ben Jordan, than uh, the other actor does. But Peter's body type and height in this game, since he's a more, he's an adult, more or less doesn't really match this suit well in translation. Now, I do get why they included it, because, of course, if you're going to have Spider-Man Homecoming suits in the game, you're going to have to have both of them, right? Why not? Same thing with Far From Home, but we'll get to that. Um, but overall, I do like how they went the extra length to actually include the homemade suit and for for people who haven't watched homecoming or this suit was created by peter himself when tony stark took the next suit that we're going to go over away from him telling him it's not the hero it's not the suit that makes the hero it's the hero that makes the suit kind of thing because he felt like he wasn't good enough because he had the suit and because he had the suit he felt like he wasn't really spider-man right so tony challenged him on that front and was like all right bet you think you're not i'm gonna show you what happens i'm taking the suit so he takes the suit and then vulture i think was the main villain in that movie appears and peter having to rise above and become the hero we all knew he was created a homemade suit out of the materials he had and made this and won the stark suit back from tony after he proved to the world that just because he made this because he was spider-man right just because like the suit was spider-man and that because of the suit, he was Spider-Man. He lost sight of what being a hero really is. And because of it, he lost the suit. And he lost all the fancy tech, all the gear, all the weapons that came with the Stark suit. He's like, just because I don't have the suit doesn't mean I'm not Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man still. And he, he, he wised up. And... He got to become Spider-Man. He finally f learned what it means to be a hero 
with and without the suit. And like Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. And then, that is it. So I do like how they faithfully redesigned and just like really, really, really just put in the MCU suit, like from head to toe, exactly how it was in the movie and just put it in this game. And it follows the classic color scheme of Spider-Man, red and blue. So yeah, I like it. And I like how they like imprinted the spider logo and the, and the sweater on both sides, you know? So yeah. And this suit also has reflective eyes, by the way. Um, if you don't believe me, The next MCU suit in said game, or more movie suit, rather, is of course the suit that you see in the beginning of Far From Home and in the beginning of Homecoming, and that is the Stark suit. Now, I've gone over the Stark suit in a lot of my uh, All Suits videos, um, and I, there's n not much I need to say here. I mean, this is a faithful, it's classic Spider-Man meeting modern times, basically. Uh, I really didn't get a chance to like go in depth, but if you look at the web shooters, it's a lot more technical based. Um, yeah, the web padding on the web shooters are like in the middle of his palms, like in the advanced suit and the other and other suits. But it, now that I really got the chance to secure and look at these suits in depth, I really dislike the web shooters and what how they are designed on to this suit, right? I mean, I'm so used to having Spidey's arm when he ever has like the classic suit, like with like the red and blue, and you can see his full wrist, right, without the arm guards. To me, these web shooters look like arm guards rather than actual web shooters. I mean, you can clearly see that they're actually web shooters, but it's, it, I feel like these really like take away from Spider-Man, you know, in a, a little bit. I mean, you can clearly see some designs from Tony Stark with how the uh, symbol protrudes. I mean, all the symbols protrude, but you can really feel the Tony Stark in this suit. Uh, and when I first saw it from, from, from Homecoming, when I first saw that movie in theaters, I mean, I was like, hey, this is Spidey. And I, I saw, the first time I actually saw the suit was in Civil War. I was like, this shit is amazing. Until I looked at the web shooters. And then I was like, oh, yeah, Iron Man made this. <laughs> and you can tell he made it because, like, if you look in the back, it, yeah, it's tech clearly Iron Man. But um, that doesn't mean it's not a good suit entirely. It's a really great suit, and it really highlights Spider-Man. And it shows off the classic color scheme but reintroduces Spider-Man to younger audiences that haven't really grew up with the smaller eyed, smaller spider, even but bigger spider in the back Spider-Man from the past. But now they do, and they get a new upgraded modern twist to the character, which is what I like about it. Tom Holland Spider-Man, in my opinion, is the best interpretation of the teenage Spider-Man, right? Now, when I get into the other versions of the quote-unquote teenage Spider-Man from the movies, which are in this game, by the way, I really don't think their actors really portrayed that teenage-esque Peter Parker to a T as well as Tom Holland does. Uh, so each actor, in my opinion, with the exception of one, does a really good job at what Peter is in certain stages of his life. 
even though they weren't intended to be because all the movies are based off of spider-man's origin right so yeah i mean obviously you're gonna have to have the high school nerd that gets bit by a spider his uncle gets shot kind of esque and he has to become a man as a kid technically but tom holland just screams kid teenage peter and he's just amazing at how he portrays spider-man so like i really like the stuff that tom holland does in the mcu and how he's portraying spider-man you know like as a teenage peter parker like a kid who's trying to protect the world and protect his loved ones at the same time and protect the city that he's from while not revealing his identity in fear that if he word got out those people that he loves so much would be in danger and he follows the superhero code of being a double living a double life like captain america i mean technically everybody knows at this point who steve rogers really is i mean he's fucking a part of the military but you know whoa <laughs> but you know that's neither here nor there um the next suit that we're gonna get into is of course from the next movies, uh, is this a is this was this from the movie? Was the wrestler suit from the movie? Because, um, wrestler suit, Spider Man. No, it wasn't. This is a that's comic book oriented. Yeah, it's comic book oriented because the movie suit actually had like an airbrush spider pattern on and like gloves and shit. He was like a fucking ninja. I remember now because the first ever Spider Man live action movie was in 2002. Fun. Anyway, the next Spider Man suit that is a part of the MCU is the Iron Spider suit. Now. I do credit Insomniac for renaming this, for having two of the same suits twice with the same name, but renamed, if you catch what I mean. Because this is the second, technically the first Iron Spider suit in the game. However, this is not the first Iron Spider suit ever. And if we were to go into that territory, right? If we wanted to say, hey, like, if you wanted to see what the original Iron Spider was, wait, where is it? Right? This is the original one. And I should have included this in my uh, Insomniac version suits because this is not the exact same suit. Although it's similar, very similar. It's not the exact same suit. And uh, you can clearly tell this screams Iron Man. Like, even in the comics, it screamed Iron Man. I was like, yeah, Tony Stark made this. You know how you can tell? In Arc Reactor, where the spider lives, is right there. Like, literally right there. It's, it's, hard, it's not hard to see. And, and it's armor-based. All armor-based. Like, you can even see the rust on the suit. You can tell it's armor-based. Um, some, some of them are fabric, like this. But most of it's armor-based, like the gloves. And you can see repulsors. He also has repulsors on the bottom of his feet, but you can't see it here. Um, but, uh, yeah, the web shooters are there, too, as well. But he can also fly because of Iron Man, and he can web fling and has arms. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. <laughs> what we're here for is the Iron Spider suit from the MCU. Now, this also screams Iron Man, but it's less subtle. And what I mean by this is the Iron Man parts... Uh, let's go into his hand real quick. Are 
only visible on the mask and on the front of the seat, right? And and the gauntlets, right? Now, I do like this redesign, kinda, of the Iron Spider, although the classic Iron Spider will always have a deer, near deer in my heart because it's the original. Um, this is a very good redesign uh, of the classic Iron Spider suit um, from the MCU standpoint. You know, this also has reflective eyes, and I will be doing an MCU playthrough of Marvel Spider-Man. Basically, I'll be using the MCU suits and not the movie suits, which is what this video is for. Uh, just the MCU suits, which is only uh, homemade, Stark, homemade Stark, uh, Iron Spider, Stealth, and Upgraded Suit, which we'll be getting to very shortly. Um, about this suit in particular, I can see that they try to be original and faithful to both characters that this suit was inspired from because you got to realize this is a combination of two heroes in one, right? Technically. Because if you really think about it, this is the partnership where a young teen Peter Parker in another timeline, which I think this is what they're trying to push, this version of Peter Parker, not the adult one. Um, this Peter Parker worked on, is under the tutelage of Iron Man. So, what do you get when you mix Iron Man, who has no powers, but a mecked up suit that gives him abilities to fight crime, and a superhero who does have powers, spider-based powers, and can actually use them with similar color schemes, you get the Iron Spider-Man. And uh, you can clearly tell the uh, Iron Man parts from the red and gold parts of the suit, and then the Spider-Man parts with the webbing of design, the spider, the mask, all of it, as well as the colors scheme for red, blue, and black. Black being for the islands is. Um, now the blue part that of the reflective eye lenses, these are from the Iron Man because Iron Man has this color scheme for his eyes. Spider-Man's reflective eye lenses are white and they aren't tech-based, whereas Iron Man's are and they're blue colored. So yeah, I do like what the MCU ver what the MCU did with this suit and I love that spider in the back. It's just perfect. So this suit is actually pretty fire. I, I, there's not too much, but I hate the gauntlets and the web shooters. Like, 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 like come on, bro. You could have did something way better with the web shooters. But other than that, it's not a bad suit at all. I really like it. The next suit from the movies is doo -doo -doo -doo. Spider Man into the Spider Verse. This is by far, if I'm, I may be mistaken, but this is the only suit that is animated from an animated movie, and this is from the only animated movie, as far as I'm aware. I may be wrong. Comment in the comment section below if I'm wrong, but this is the only Spider-Man animated movie that I'm aware of that exists. But if I'm wrong, correct me. I might be wrong. Um, however, this suit is what classic Spider-Man is, right? You got the little spider in the back, uh, the smaller spider in the middle, in his chest, and then the classic web pattern all around everywhere. Um, I do like how Insomniac did add the Insert the Spider-Verse suits for both the Miles and Peter. Um, now, this is where it gets tricky because 
this the blue depending on where you are is like an indigo color from the back but on the front is like a dark rich blue and i kind of do like it i like how i don't like how like bulky and tall and like really awkward looking the suit looks but in terms of and like the head is just like weird as fuck too but uh other than that this is a pretty dope suit and i really like how they incorporated it and the Into the spider-verse suit uh for miles even though i wish they added the, the hoodie one with the sneakers and the shorts but uh you know that's not here or there um but other than that it's just perfect <laughs> Um, the next suit in this scenario, cause we're almost there, guys, we're almost there, is nostalgia-based. This yeah. is live-action Spider-Man. Let me stop. This is the web suit. Um, let me, um, let him stand up for a little bit. Give me time. And give me time. Come on, Peter. Come on. You mean you tell me you're gonna need to stand up like this the whole entire time? Bruh. Bro. Wait, wait, come on, man. Alright. I think it's because I'm in a building that he's crouched over. But anyway, fuck it. This is the classic Marvel smut movie suit for Spider-Man. This is the first movie suit for Spider-Man ever. Um, and I really did wish they added this, the symbiote version of this suit from spider-man 3 but you know we can't always get what we want in life um yeah now keep in mind this suit was made in 2002 so for those of you who are wishing why doesn't the web suit have reflective island expressive islands is like some of the other mcu or movie suits to that i tell you my friends the Amazing Spider-Man suit, which will also be covered, did not also have expressive eye lenses. And I don't know why. But I knew why for this suit, because this is 2002, right? And they didn't have the technology that we have like now, right? So back then, it would have been hard as hell to make a mask with metal webbing which is what this is, on a suit that had expressive eye lenses, right? So if these were to move, like when Peter makes a facial expression, it would have been a lot more money to produce and hard as hell to produce as well without having CGI because, well, if you watch the movies, Peter's eyes in this mask, in this suit rather, never moved. Uh, but going back to what I said earlier about the Spider-Man actors for these movies, um, Tao, let's go with Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man trilogy and the OG uh, live action actor for Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire. Where do I begin? Spider-Man 3 was abysmal, but I'm not going to hark and harp on Spider-Man's original uh, actor for that. I mean, he did make waves. This is my childhood. I grew up on this, these movies, right? But keeping nostalgia aside, 
he did a really great job at presenting an adult Peter Parker, right? Now, keeping this is what I I mean. His care, Toby's uh, like the intent for Toby's version of Peter was supposed to be a teenage Peter, right? Uh, growing up in high school, getting his powers and whatnot. However, he came across better in like Spider Man Two as like a more serious, an adult based Peter, whereas uh, Tom Holland is more comedic and more jovial as a teenage Peter than um, Toby comes across as when he pres when he portrayed Peter. Um, now. His Spider-Man is a lot more serious in that regard. Uh, I do like how they re-did everything. They really put in their time and effort to restore this suit in its entirety and put it into the game. Like this is this was one of the fan requested suits, by the way, mind you. Um, for the downloadable, like the updated suit, like the suits that came with, like the free suits that came with the free update. Uh, this is one of those suits, and for good reason. I mean, this is iconic. A lot of, like, uh, spin-off games, like Spider-Man from the Vote for the PSP, or, like, some, a lot of, like, even an animated series was inspired based off of this suit. And you would think, like, yeah, with the suit this good looking this good, you know, like why was it like why was Spider Man three so bad? Because it it, it, it just was. It, it just was. I'm not gonna get into the why Spider Man three was so bad in the game that showcases only the original suit. Well, yeah. And it's also known as the webbed suit, even though they all are webbed, but you know, it's because of the metal plating that the webs are supposed to like give off in the suit entirely. <laughs> also, he has no web shooters. So that's fun. Um, the next suit in this little series is the upgraded suit. Now, remember when I told you That Tom Holland was a fantastic um, Peter Parker, and that I liked the upgraded suit more than I did the Stark suit. This is why. This suit is a re. It's, it's, it's not really a reskin, right? Because the spider logo on the back is different like if if you were to go to the uh stark suit where is it where's the dark suit right look at the back right this suit is completely different from the upgraded suit right as you can see the spider is completely different from the upgraded from the stark suit now, uh, the red and black really complements Peter and Spider-Man against Mysterio, and this is like I think his like current, and this is the current MCU Peter, not the GCU, not the G, the the MGU, the MC, the MC, the MGU is the Marvel Gamer universe, and the Marvel Gamer universe, the current Peter is the advanced suit, but you know we, we don't talk about that. Um. And I just like how it just looks. Like you, I didn't even realize that it's literally webbing all over the gloves of the suit, and all over the suit in general. The black just hides it, but if you look carefully, it just—it's amazing, you know. Um, also, he gets rid. Of the, he gets rid of those like bulky web shooters, gets smaller concealed web shooters, as you can see right there, and they're connected very seamlessly. So it's not like you can see them from a distance, like, but 
it's not as like noticeable as like the bulky, bigger, more like chunky web shooter gauntlets that the Stark suit had. And I do like this suit overall. I, I like it better. And Home, Far From Home was a very good movie. Um, and the final. Well, not the final one. Night's Monkey, let me stop. <laughs> uh, the stealth suit from Far From Home. I feel like this is what a stealth Spider-Man should look like. With minus the uh, no fingerless gloves, but I feel like this had a shield logo in the movie. If I'm not wrong, I probably might be with reflective eye lenses, you know, because why not? Uh, and this suit is just amazing, bro. He looks like a covert shield agent, but you know, this man is Spider-Man. Wanna know how? The web shooters from the Stark suit are back. As you can see here, right there, the bulky ass fucking web shooters. Why did he do this to himself? Like, you can they give it away. You're a Spider Man. Like, especially in a stealth looking environment. I mean, I get it. It does look. Like, if you were to see this thing at night, you'd be like, oh shit. But, like, uh. No. <laughs> Like, the, the web shooters just kill it. And the ski mask, bro. Like, come on, bro. What are you, a robber? But I do like that suit. It was funny when he debuted it. And the worst suit, in my opinion, is, of course, the amazing suit. Now, I'm not going to hark and harp on it too much because for what it is, it is a really good suit, per se. I'm just not a really big fan of it. Now, here's why. Peter, stop turning around. Okay, here's why. First of all, this spider, like, is just, ugh. And the spider on the back, bruh. Just why? Who the f designed this, right? Now, the gloves are kind of okay. I do like how he has glowing web shooters. Wait, what the fuck? Those tech base? They are, oh. And those little green dots indicate how many bars of web fluid he has in his web shoes. Nice, so this is really techy based. Now, the Amazing Spider-Man series from, of movies weren't the greatest. And credit to Andrew Garfield, I mean, he tried his best. He really did. It's just, it was just too much. I mean, too much crying, the killing of Gwen Stacy, because in this universe, Peter and Gwen Stacy were together, because also, that is a, another thing. He did have a relationship with Gwen Stacy in its alternate timeline, not the main one, because in the main one, he's just obviously with MJ, but you know. But, yeah, I mean, what also killed it was the gold in the islands. Like, what the f were they thinking? Like, I'm glad they f fixed it with the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, which they really should have added. But I guess this works. And, uh, yeah, I mean, thanks to you for watching. This has been Spider-Man, uh, all the movie suits in the game, uh, and uh, next video I will be going over all the comic origin, origin suits. So yeah, see you guys later.